everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title and also the fact that I'm vlogging, this video is gonna be a little bit different to say the least. Now, with this video, you guys are probably gonna say, Roxy, you're running out of video ideas. I mean, I can't really argue, you guys are not wrong. That is the tea. I thought today we'd do something a little bit more fun and not so serious. So we're gonna make a dress out of a trash bag. That's right. A trash bag. Now this video has kind of been inspired by you guys. As you guys know, I do quite a lot of different testing videos of different clothes and a lot of the time they don't really look as good on me as I thought they would. But you guys are always so nice in the comments and I've read quite a few comments of you guys saying, oh Roxy, anything would suit you even if you wore a trash bag. So I honestly do not agree with your statement, but thank you guys so much. You're just way too kind. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys what you want. I'm gonna basically wear a bin bag. Oh my god, I need to sit down. My arm is like aching. How do vloggers do this? So I've actually typed in this video idea into YouTube before I'm filming this and I did see a couple of different people who have done this already so I want to give them credit and a shout out. So one of them was Amber Scholl. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. I checked out her video and it was honestly everything I wanted to do already and more to be fair. Honestly, she's so hilarious. If you guys haven't seen her video, I will link it down below. She is great. And this video is essentially inspired by you guys and also kind of her video too. So I hope you guys enjoy. It's just a little bit of fun. So let's go and get my trash bag essentials to create my perfect trash bag dress. Let's go. Okay, so I've made it to Primark, but it's a little bit awkward because there's quite a few people here. So I'm kind of trying to film on the down low, like hiding in these coats. But basically the aim of being here is to try and find something that I can use as the base of my dress. So I'm looking at things like this and I feel like it might be a bit extra. <laughs> and it's like really, really sexy, like loungewear. So I don't know if it's gonna work completely However, we are going to be covering up most of this, so I'm hoping that I can make this work. Oh, this is really cute. I feel like I could make this work as the base of the skirt and then maybe attach some trash bags to the end of it to make it almost like fishtail. Totally going to get that. Okay, I have my stuff. I am finished at Primark. Now it's time to go get the trash bags. So I am in Tesco and I'm just in the trash bag aisle. I'm going to go for a good old Tesco value 80 bag and hope that that's going to be enough. Okie doke, I have my trash bag dress essentials. I've got this skirt that you guys saw and also this little bralette, which is actually really pretty. I've then got not one, not two, but three packets of bin bags. I first read this really stupidly thinking that there's 80 bags inside, but there's only 20. So I had to run into co-op and pick up some more. So I've just typed in black prom dress into Google to try and get an idea of what I want my dress to kind of look like. And I typed in prom dress just because I want it to be more of an evening type of dress. And I'm getting really cool ideas from things like this. So I feel like I could kind of transform this and then add some trash bags to the end of it to almost make it look like a fishtail kind of dress. There is honestly way too much inspiration to choose from so I think I'm just gonna wing it. So I think I'm actually gonna focus on the top half of my dress first. So what Amber did in her video which I quite liked is that she just basically took chunks of the bin bag, kind of rolled them up into a little rose and then stuck them all over the little top part of the dress. Now I'm thinking about doing something similar to that but a little bit more different, maybe just around the top half or something. So let's get to work. <laughs> up stripes of the bin bag pieces all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one and basically fold it in half and then just try and start to create sort of swirl pattern with the bin bag I guess this is kind of meant to look like a little rose or a swirl and you basically just want to keep doing that until it is all rolled up into a little swirl so once you have a little rose you then just want to take a hot glue gun or some super glue and to make sure it doesn't unravel you just want to stick on the very end to the rest of the little rose and this is kind of what it should look like a little rose or a swirl made out of a trash bag I'm then also gonna take a tiny bit of tape and I'm gonna stick that on the very bottom portion of the rose just so that it doesn't unravel so again I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm just using that to kind of glue the rose onto the bralette and make sure that it's nice and stuck on so this is the beginning of very many hours of me trying to attach all these little roses onto this bralette Just 
checking in. This is honestly the most tedious thing I have ever done. Just thought I'd let you guys know. So this is how it is turning out and oh my god, I mean, come on, just look at this. You would not ever be able to tell this is made out of a trash bag. It honestly has exceeded my expectations so much. Now for the bottom vertical pieces of the bralette, I've just taken a smaller chunk of the bin bag and I've started to twist the bin bag around itself like so. I'm then just measuring out how long I need the twirl to be and I'm taking a piece of my tape and then just sticking this twirl onto the tape. The tape will just help to keep keep the twirl in its actual shape. Now for the bottom part, which is the skirt, I'm just basically gonna take a bunch of long strips of the bin bag and basically attach this to the very bottom of the skirt to kind of have like long strips of like fabric almost, I don't know. I kind of have this vision in my head, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So we're just gonna try it and see how it looks. I'm just going to cut off a long tail to my dress. So I'm kind of just gonna cut off a V shape at the very base of my bin bag. I have no clue how this is gonna look or if it's even gonna look good, but this is kind of what I have envisioned for the very back of the dress. So first things first, I'm going to attach this bin bag to the very bottom of the skirt using some hot glue. Now that I know the width of the skirt compared to the bin bag, I'm just gonna cut off the excess of the bin bag and make sure that it all flows together. I'm now gonna take a bunch of random bin bag pieces like this and I'm just going to cut them into thin strips and then attach them to the very end of this, just as I have done with the tail piece. I kind of wanna build up a lot of volume with these pieces and make it really fluffy. the skirt and the tail of the skirt, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of create a waterfall effect where the middle of the skirt has shorter strands and then it kind of goes into longer pieces onto each of the sides. I feel like that will really tie in the back of the dress very well. Okay, so this is how it looks together so far. Now, honestly, I've got to say, I am so impressed with how this turned out and also the tail of the dress. I feel like it's gonna look so pretty. Now, I wanna do something on this part of the skirt because I feel like it's so bare and plain, but I'm not really too sure what to do. I kind of thought about maybe creating like a peplum style thing with something like this, but on top of here as well. But I feel like that then would distract from this. So I might just do a couple of little roses down here just to kind of tie in this with this. So I've just finished adding the roses across the top part of the skirt and this is finally finished. It's honestly taken me so long, like pretty much all day, if you can see. Honestly, this has been such a task. My back is pretty much broken from like kneeling over on this dress and working on it pretty much all day. What do you guys think? I feel like it's so extra and it's so mermaid-like. I love it. I can't wait to get this on. So I have the dress on now and I honestly don't think you guys are ready for this. I mean, damn, look at this. Vogue who? <laughs> I feel like I'm the next big designer, you guys, and literally all you'll be seeing soon is just clothing made out of trash. That's the next trend. You heard it here first. <laughs> I feel like I'm the next big designer, you guys. You'll definitely be seeing more trash on the catwalk very soon. But for real, can you actually imagine if like this was the new trend? <laughs> so you guys, that is the end of my video. I honestly had so much fun making this, although it does kind of feel like a waste of six hours, to be fair, because I'm never gonna wear this again. Although it does look kind of cool, potentially I might save it for next year Halloween. I feel like this video was definitely more for the experience and the fun of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below and also don't forget to subscribe come and join the dinosaur family oh no my little flowers coming undone after all my hard work this dress is already falling apart you guys but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.